Hello everyone, so as crazy as it is to be doing this, I've got uh, an overview and review of a few new testing Bath & Body Works candle collections for 2014 release. Um, so here we are, it's just on the edge of early December, getting in the full swing after Black Friday shopping, into the full 100%, you know, uh, all engines barreling forward into the holiday season, um, and the Bath & Body Works test stores are starting to get in. Um, candles that are testing for next year, which makes sense because they'll be releasing them early January, but it still is kind of shocking that, you know, we're just getting into Christmas and they've already got them out. Um, but either way, it's it's still exciting. It's fun. Um, I know it's been tough for folks to do um, phone orders and things like that for the test candles, so um, I really wanted to get these up ASAP so that you have an idea of what's out there. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest, um, if customer service is still taking phone orders the way they were um, throughout the fall. Um, I know that some folks said that if you called them and knew which ones you're looking for, they sometimes would allow you to get them, but their policy seems to be changing um, fairly regularly on that, so unfortunately I don't know what the status is. Um, if anyone knows, feel free to comment below. But um, I at least wanted to tell you what I saw, what they've got out there in the test stores, um, and kind of give you know my, my standard in-depth review of them. So I'll do a few different videos. Um, right now, in addition to the winter um, 2013 fresh, fresh picked or fresh market collection that's starting to trickle into all stores with, um, you know, the sugared lemons and the market herbs, um, winter vanilla, winter vanilla latte, um, the sweet clementine, all of those. Um, besides those, there are three other collections um, that are currently testing. The first one you see three of the candles here, and it's called the Bath and Body Works Spring Street Sweet Shop. Um, the other two collections are Destinations 2014. Um, it doesn't say 2014 on the label, but obviously it's not coming out in the next four weeks because it's just starting to test. Um, and then the third one is uh, what I assume will be 2014's Fresh Picked collection. You know, the springtime, spring into summer, Fresh Picked line. Now, with the Destinations collection, there are 12 candles right now. Uh, and then with Sweet Shop and Fresh Picked, there are seven candles each. Um, I assume that there probably will be more in each of those, and then maybe one or two or three will not make it out of the testing phase. That seems to be the history um, within the past year or so. And the Destinations Collection, the sign in the store advertised 12, so it could be that 12 will go wide. That would be kind of a lot in my opinion. Um, so I'm assuming that maybe we'll just get, uh, you know, eight or 12 in that collection. Um, but I will do other videos to get more in depth with those. But first I wanted to start with the one that I think most people will be pretty excited about, at least to start, which is the Sweet Shop collection. Um, so within the Sweet 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 Shop collection, um, the first three you see here are Pink Bubblegum, Lavender Marshmallow, and Pineapple Cream Puff. There were four additional ones in the store that I did not purchase, or at least yet. Um, they are Lemon Drops, Watermelon Lemonade, strawberry sorbet, and get ready for this, folks, cinnamon sugar donut. Um, so three, two or three returning scents, um, and then a couple of new ones, and then maybe a repackage or so. Um, so obviously I'm gonna, I'll am gonna do in-depth on these three here, but to talk about the others. Cinnamon sugar donut. I apparently Bath & Butterworks heard our cries from the fall, um, or they just had plans all along to bring it out in the spring, um, but it looks like cinnamon sugar donut the original scent, no changes, no twists, um, will be back in this collection. Um, I'm hoping it's not a test the way sometimes they test older released candles. Um, I assume it's going to go wide um, if and when the collection goes wide, which again, I can't imagine it wouldn't. Um, it's got a new label to match these. Um, you know, the notes on it, I'm sure say something about, you know, spring or just sweet shop confections. Um, but it smelled just as intense and fantastic as it always had. So I was really, really happy to see that back. Um, watermelon Lemonade, which was from the Lakeside Collection last year, it was quite popular last year. I didn't really get the um, popularity of it. It seemed very watered down to me. Like, watermelon itself doesn't smell super strong unless you're getting like a Jolly Rancher candy watermelon. And it really just seemed kind of like watery seltzer with a little touch of lemon, but not even intense. Um, you expect watermelon lemonade to be bright and sweet and strong. And for me, it, it just kind of fell flat. I'm not sure why. Um, and, and the candle, I almost feel like the candle this year could be less popular because um, it just looks kind of blah. The wax is just like an off pastel yellow. 
Um, the label's not super vibrant. So I'd be curious to see if people are, are as into it this year, um, because I know sometimes I'm guilty of it as well. Sometimes it's the marketing that's exciting um, and the wax and the label and things like that. So with this, the different label and the kind of, you know, boring, non-bright pink <laughs> wax, um, I'd be interested to see if people still love watermelon lemonade. Uh, lemon drops, um, look the it looked a lot like this pink bubblegum label. It's kind of like an apothecary jar filled with um, like round lemon ball candies, like a, you know, big lemon head kind of candies. Um, it was very nice. It's a great lemon, but to me, it really didn't smell much different than, um, you know, it's another variant on fresh lemon, limoncello, um, sugared lemons from the market collection. It's really their kind of standard, you know, fresh candy lemon, really fantastic, wonderful lemon scent, not super cleaner, not super, bakery not super anything other than just like a fresh sweet sugary lemon um but for me it just it wasn't a must-have because it was so sort of standard as far as bath and body works goes strawberry sorbet um i feel like that is bath and body works response to the um the strawberry i forget what it's called but that strawberry ice cream candle that yankee candle had last year that people loved um i was hoping it would really smell like a super authentic um strawberry ice cream uh, the label looked more like ice cream as opposed to sorbet. So sorbet is more t towards like a sherbet that's, you know, a little bit more icy and fruit juicy versus super creamy and milk fat. Um, uh, but the, the label looked like ice cream to me, not so much sorbet. So um, you would expect it to be kind of milky and creamy and sweet in that direction. It was nice. Um, strawberry scents are very rarely um, great in my opinion because it's so hard to authenticate this strawberry scent i don't know why it's a strong scent um, but it's hard to authenticate um and so that one for me it wasn't a, a slam dunk in any ways uh in any forms even though it is i believe a brand new scent it's not a reformulation or anything like that so um those are the four that i didn't purchase again cinnamon sugar donut watermelon lemonade lemon drops and strawberry sorbet but let's dive into the three that i did purchase because i'm very excited uh, about at least two of these and the third one is at least decent. So this will be a little bit long of a video I'm gonna try to keep it under 20 minutes, but this is pretty exciting guys. It's brand new sense that I didn't even expect so Let's all deal with it together <laughs> uh, First up pink bubblegum now. Let's go in-depth on what these look like So they've got the returning of that sort of galvanized metal lids that people really enjoyed uh, Let's get in the sunlight here, and it says Bath & Body Works Spring Street Sweet Shop, Bath & Body Works Home Collection. The label, it's sort of a matte finish. Uh, it reminds me almost of some of the marketing they were doing fall 2012 for their kind of treats collection. Um, it's got, you know, like kind of an old-timey label, like you could see at a corner store kind of thing with the, the framing around it. Um, nothing is raised as far as the, the, there's no like embossing on the fonts or anything like that. But pink bubble gum. The notes read. Um, oh, first of all, I don't know if this is brand new or not, but the new candles are not 22, they're now 2250. Um, I hope that that means that that's just their way of saying essentially buy one, get one free when you do two for 22, um, as opposed to when they were doing, you know, two for 22 on $20 candles. Um, either way though, it's a little bit like, you know, they keep inching them up there. Um, anyhow, the notes, pink bubble gum. A fragrance that you can really sink your teeth into with notes of pink sugar cane, juicy watermelon, and a hint of vanilla. Okay, so pink sugar cane, watermelon, and vanilla. Let me set it down, and I'll start by sniffing the lid, and that may be, it's pretty intense, that may be all I actually need to sniff. Uh, now, I don't know when I would want my house to smell like bubblegum, because it's very, it's not just a fruity scent, it is absolutely pure, original, bubblegum flavored bubblegum. Um, I don't know that it's so much watermelon because definitely there are some watermelon scents. You sniff them and you're like, oh, that smells like watermelon bubblegum, like the bubblelicious or bubble yum, like the really big sugary chunks of um, bubblegum. I don't really get that. To me, this smells like either double bubble or more than anything, bazooka. Bazooka Joe bubblegum, kind of for me, the most classic bubblegum flavor um, is bazooka. Um, they're kind of all similar, the, the classic pink bubblegums. Um, but when I smell this, I get straight up bazooka joe. It's like you unwrap the wrapper, it's a little bit of that kind of powdery on the outside of it. 
intense, sugary, sweet, kind of fruity in the way that you can't really say what kind. So I don't really, I'm not even going to pick out and say that, obviously it smells like sugar, number one. I don't know what kind of fragrant notes or, or taste notes they blend to make the blend of what is considered to be classic bubblegum. Perhaps there's watermelon, perhaps there's vanilla. I don't really know, I don't really care. I just know that this is absolutely 100% authentic bubblegum scent. So if you like that, this is the candle for you. I'll save the most interesting for last. So let's move on to pineapple cream puff. Now, cream puffs are, I like cream puffs. I don't eat them, I very rarely <laughs> get them. Um, they're not something that are super common. Um, it's like, you know, that kind of, kind of egg flour batter. Uh, it's French, I believe. Um, and they're just, they usually get filled with like a, a custard or like a pudding or something like that. And the sun is moving as I try to show this label. Um, but pineapple cream puff, I've never heard of pineapple. I mean, clearly they add like crushed pineapple to turnovers and, and tarts and things like that, but I've never heard of it with a cream puff. Um, again, pretty kind of yellow wax um, and, a, and a pretty label similar to the bubblegum and the same, of course, lid. The lids don't have any different um, logos on them. They're all just the same as far as the Spring Street Sweet Shop. The notes on this read, delicate puff pastry and rich cream meet tropical pineapple and a fragrance inspired by a classic handmade confection. Okay, so we get what they're going for. Uh, puff pastry, rich cream, and pineapple. Let's move these around, set this here, and I'll sniff if I can get focus. Okay. Now, smelling this today, I get more of its kind of intricacies than I did yesterday in the store. Uh, because yesterday, you know, you get, your nose gets overwhelmed sometimes. You, you don't always get the, the lighter um, aspects of a, a fragrance. Now this, <clears throat> there's been pineapple in tons of the, the tropical and spring candles and the drink candles and, you know, everything across the board. They've thrown pineapple in a lot of stuff. This is not a repackage that I'm aware of. And the pineapple is somewhat light, actually, which I think is good because you don't want it to be tropical, juicy, you know, the way that pineapple mango or pineapple orchid or any of the drink collections of past years um, were heavy on like that, you know, pineapple juice concentrate that comes in a can kind of thing. So the pineapple is light because it's a small part of the, the note. It's supposed to be cream puff with pineapple. It's not, you know, the other way around. The cream puff, though, I'm not getting a ton of bakery scent in this. Let me actually lift up the candle, too. It's like, it's so light. But then again, I mean, when you think of it, cream puffs, they're really hollow, kind of. There's not much of a, a sweet, there's no not like super buttery or sugary. The way that some bake, you know, baked goods are. Like a shortbread or a cookie or a pie or a cake. So I feel like they themselves, cream puffs generally don't have that much of a scent. It's more about like the, the you know, the light, crunchy, airy experience of, of, of biting them. So it's hard to say. So this is, I don't know. It, it's a little bit of a weird one for me. I don't know that it's going to be a slam dunk because if I really try to focus, I can sort of smell the cream puff with like the lightest dusting of that powdered sugar. But it's not... Very obvious. This is one of those candles where if people smelled it, I you know, blindly, they would never say a baked good with pineapple. I think they would say pineapple something. It could kind of be marketed pineapple anything, a light pineapple of something. Um, so I'd almost just really call it kind of like a pineapple vanilla, maybe? The vanilla is light. Um, what's weird is, like, it's pineapple something, um, but the something is so light that you can't really say what. Um, it's just enough that it makes the the pineapple not be as strong. So you've got like, you know, 30% pineapple, 70% other, but the other is kind of nondescript and hard to put your finger on exactly what it is. Now, I'm not the bakery guru like some folks are, so I don't, like, I don't, you know, order tarts and bake bakery item scents. Um, I know some folks do that, and they really in-depth know about you know, zucchini blends and, and different types of bakery notes. Um, so maybe someone else will be able to get more from this. But for me, it's kind of borders on generic, which is a little bit, you know, a little bit 
not sad, but <laughs> it's a little bit, um, it's just underwhelming a little bit. But again, it's nice enough that I bought it. So it might be, if anything, it could be a good layering scent. Finally, the one I was most excited about, not a surprise, is Lavender Marshmallow. I was excited about everything, everything about this candle. Um, you know, I love herbal things. I love lavender across the board. You know, months ago, over a year ago, I guess at this point, I did a all things lavender video that I showcased probably 15 kind of home items um, that all included lavender. Um, and I was a, an enormous fan of the failed test scent Lavender Caramel from 2011 um, that was released in mini form only as far as releasing wide called Lavender Macaroon. Uh, as part of the very first um, French collection, which was in fall of 2011. It was um, like two bakery items, like Bundt Cakes or Sticky something. Um, and then, of course, the, the macaroon, macaron candle. Um, so when I saw this, I thought, could it be reworking of lavender caramel? Because it's the only time they've ever done bakery with lavender before. Um, anyway, let's let's dive into it. So. Everything about this candle is great, especially, especially for spring, you know, when you're getting into Easter and that the whole season. It's a really pretty pastel, um, lilac purple, um, great fun label. It's it's like uh, multicolored, almost like uh, tie-dyed or, or Easter egg dipped um, marshmallows. And it's a lavender marshmallow. The notes on it read, the merging of two unexpected flavors, lavender and marshmallow, make this mouth-watering blend a special treat. So, again, they're... They're just giving it to us straight, lavender and marshmallow. Oh, it's really good, guys. I really, this must go wide, and I hope everyone loves it um, because I want multiples of this. It is, I'd say, like a 60 40 blend of lavender to marshmallow, maybe even 70 to 30. More on the marshmallow. I'm sorry, excuse me, more on the lavender than marshmallow. Um, and the marshmallow that is there is not, I mean, marshmallow is hard to do. I feel like they, in s'mores candles, it's not really there. It's, it's hard to get the kind of puffy sponge sugar side of, of marshmallow or like the fluffiness of it. Like, you know, it, I think it leans more towards meringue sometimes in, in a sense. With this, so it, it the, the weird thing is you would think, okay, lavender marshmallow, so marshmallow could be sugary vanilla. So is it going to be like a lavender vanilla candle? And it's not at all. It smells nothing at all like lavender vanilla, which is good. It shouldn't. The lavender in this is, it's sweet, but it leans surprisingly towards the herbal borderline astringent side of lavender without the intensity. So just the type of lavender scent is that in that direction, I think. Um, but the intensity is not at all an overwhelming kind of cleaner or astringent lavender. And it, it does remind me a bit of the lavender caramel candle, which makes sense because caramel... Macaroon, macaron, marshmallow, not that far off. You know, they throw light caramel notes into many different sort of bakery scent, uh, you know, scent candles and things like that. So it's almost like a reworking of lavender caramel, not as intense with um, the caramel side because that was a little bit heavier. Um, it leaned, as, as Karen sent my way said, it leaned towards like a stovetop stuffing because there was kind of a random sage note that was fairly predominant in there, even though I didn't note it on the, the label. And I almost get the tiniest hint of that. I think it's because lavender caramel or lavender macaron is in my head, but it is a close, you know, sibling to the lavender caramel candle. So folks who love that, I think will love this. Now it's not a full on replacement of it um, because it's not as thick or, or heavy as that one was. Let me smell the actual candle here. And it's not a baked good lavender, so it's it really is like lavender with, I suppose, marshmallow. I wouldn't necessarily pick out marshmallow if I was blind sm sniffing this. But because it's not bakery and because it's not just vanilla, and it's not just spun sugar or like a lavender cotton candy or a lavender bubble gum, I can see how it, it would be considered marshmallow. Because again, marshmallows don't really have that strong of a scent. Like... Even wet kind of marshmallow fluff doesn't smell like a whole lot. It's one of those things that it tastes like something. It tastes like sweet, sweet sugar and whatever is in there, cream of tartar or gelatin or something. But those things don't really have a huge scent to them themselves. So it's really just a soft lavender that leans towards the sweet confection 
um, as opposed to a home lavender. Definitely not a home lavender. It, it is, it, it fits in the confection sweet shop line, but it's not incredibly overly sweet. The way that a marshmallow is sugary, but it's not like you get a rush of sugar the way you do when you eat a piece of candy. It's, it's more about the, the puffiness kind of, right? So I just, I love it. I'm really happy. I hope it burns well. I hope it burns strong. Um, even though it's Christmas season, I may have to give this one a shot and burn it. Um, because it's sort of, it's sweet shop, but it's one of those because it's not super specific to a spring, spring sweets or fall or super tropical. This collection kind of could go throughout the year. Um, even though I want to be heavy towards, you know, the pines and the apples and the outdoors and all that now. Um, but I think I'm going to have to give Lavender Marshmallow a try because it's, it is, in my opinion, so far top notch. Um, we're hitting 20 minutes. I said I wouldn't go longer than that. So let me wrap up here. Um, but again, this is the first three of seven currently in test stores, uh, for the sweet spring street sweet shop collection, pink bubblegum, pineapple cream puff, lavender marshmallow, as well as strawberry sorbet, lemon drops, watermelon lemonade, and fan favorite returning classic at this point, cinnamon sugar donut. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, within the next day or two, I will have the Fresh Picked Collection uh, review and the Destinations review. I may have to split that one into two videos because I have nine of those candles and that could be really long. Um, but for Fresh Picked, I can tell you right off the bat that I will have Sweet Spearmint to offer, um, Pomelo Grapefruit, and Lemon Cucumber. Um, those are three I purchased from the Collection of Seven. And I've got to tell you, they are top notch. The Spearmint is incredible. The Lemon Cucumber is true cucumber. Um, not perfumey, not weird. It is, you know what you're sniffing. Um, so I'm really looking forward. I think 2014 could shape up to be pretty great with um, some of the Bath & Body Works candle releases. So as always, hit me up below with questions. Stay tuned for some a lot of videos coming up. I will still focus on fall though and, and winter. I promise to have my winter collection, um, sort of, you know, must have collection for winter uh, picks video recorded soon. And I'm still going to do the comparison of all of the Bath & Body Works Slatkin Pine scents. So I'll be doing those mixed in with sort of some of the newness for 2014. Um, questions, hit me up below. Uh, I recently created Twitter for the YouTube channel, Touch the Fire Twice. Um, I don't plan to do a whole lot with it there, but um, if you're having issues with the Google Plus integration for YouTube comments, feel free to comment or reach out to me um, on Twitter. The uh, username is at touch the fire uh, with underscores between each word. Um, it's not touch the fire twice, that would be too long. So it's touch underscore the underscore fire. I also link below um, if you wanna reach out to me there if that's easier for you. Uh, I've rambled enough, so until next time, take care.